Hey, welcome back guys. This is the Kawasaki Brute Force. I remember that. I had to get a whole new crank put in this. Uh, I had some issues with it idling or accelerating. It would not accelerate. I was like, what the heck? You know, so I was going through it and come to find out the whole issue was this puppy right there. That is a sensor, so when it's upside down, it ain't gonna go, you know, take off on you. I just figured it out. Not without a bunch of trying to figure it out. But that's life when you don't know what the heck you're doing sometimes. Well, here's what I'm gonna show you now is this brake, rear brake here, shot. Uh, it's stuck. So what you do is, uh, so it might help you here try to get this off of here. Uh, you unscrew, see like this one here, this is for the foot, this one here, I only unscrewed it already, unscrewed that, I've taken this off up here, see that, now I'll show you how to do this, now I have advantage right now because this thing don't have no plastic on it, simple, easy peasy, yeah, but I know all you guys probably would not have that, so I'll still show you a way to do that. So what you do is you pull this out enough to pop that up and see that in there? See that, uh, see where that goes in there? You pull it and pop it up. Oops. All right, so there we go, we got it there. Now one thing you gotta look for, see here that somebody put a zip tie there, which is good. There ain't nothing wrong with zip ties. But what we're gonna do is gonna be in the way. I'm gonna try to show you guys how to do it when all the plastic's on. Alright, so that should be the only thing holding, that would hold it on. So, you can look down here and make sure on this. If you have a cow suck and you want to replace it. So, okay, now I'm going to bring you over here. And what we're going to do here. And I'll, I'm going to, here it is. I'm going to bring you back on. I'm going to put you in my holder and bring you back on just a bit. Okay, guys. Well, I got you extended. Here's the new one I picked up. So we're going to open that up. Must have should have had it already open. Ah, wow. Work. Hard to find a knife when you need one. Alright. Got her all open. There's the other end. This is this end. Alright, so what we want to do is... You want to pull this off of here. Got tape. See that? Pull this off of here. Let me get up here where you can see it. Pull this off. Don't lose it. Yes, you will need it again. Okay. That and the spring. So that's all you can have left, right? We've got the spring and all that. We're going to set that right here. Alright. You're going to take this. Find this. I hope you can see this. We're going to just tape this on here. I like using electrical tape. You could probably use duct tape. Just about any tape. Electrical tape works really good because it confirms, <laughs> conforms to it. and This does real good, I, I think. So. But you can use whatever tape you want. Just make sure it's good and strong. It ain't going to break on you. Because you're going to put some pressure on it. With this, you can wrap this around here. Kind of cover up the bumps. So it'll go through smoothly. Let's go back up here and do a couple more up here. So I don't lose it. Now, what you got to do is, when you pull that out, crimp that over like that. That's so it's easy to get later on. All right. Now what you're going to want to do is, I'll let you watch that. And you hold this one with your other hand. And then you just start pulling it through. I can give it some help if it needs it. Because it might. There we go. There it is. Just keep pulling it. All the way 
through. I'll bring you over there. So it's going there. Come over here. See it's coming down this way. I'm just going to pull it out here about that far. Okay, let's make sure. You don't want to pull it too far, so go ahead and see that. Go ahead. Yeah. Let me put, I got to put you down. I can do it with two hands here. So you can see here. Go ahead and put it in where it goes here. Oh, one thing I forgot. put back in there is this don't forget that so pull it back out move that rubber thing around there a little bit screw it in there like that okay now you line up these slots Let me bring you up here and look at it. See the slot there? Yeah, right there. See it goes straight through. That way you'll be able to put your your cable in there. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. Okay, put that in there. Uh, all the way over. There it is. And that slips into there. There it is. All right. It worked. Let's go back over here. Let me bring you down the size here. All right, what I got here. Remember how we did this? Hope you can see that, can't you? Yep. Let's pull this off. And voila, there you go. Like I said, it might take a little fishing. So if you get it through there, if you got all the plastics on and everything else, but you can do it. And there's why I had to replace it. The thing wouldn't move. Won't move. Junk. All right. Now I'm going to reroute this one exactly the same way we had the other one routed. Exactly the same way. here I'll pause you and bring you back on all right here we go we got this now that's what this thing here is to help hold that the cables what we want to do is we got to go over the top enough yep to poke that into there I don't know if you've seen that or not it's a you should be able to push it in. There we go. Okay, and I'll take you on the other side and show you the other side. Okay, now here's the other side. I'm getting the old keeper out here. This, uh, if I can. Tough, tight situation. That one out. Need to put the new one in. Now put it in there now what we need to do we got to put the spring and washer in the spring goes on I mean sorry the washer goes on first then the spring and if you can loosen this one up this is the foot brake here if you can loosen that up a bit, it'll help you put this one in there. So you got to kind of bend it down and get it, I don't know if you can see there, get it through that hole. All right. There it is. 
then you start this big wing nut on there. cable on your handbrake cable and what you want to try to do is this little rubber piece you want to try to pop it back in here onto that that keeps your junk from getting inside your cable we have to do some adjusting here Whole lot of Justin. <laughs> Let's keep her going here. Is this okay? See what I'm doing is then I'm I'm working the handle here to see how much we got there. Which it needs a little more. Adjusting here. I think we got it pretty good there. That's it, I'm going to adjust this one back. That's the foot one. Back again, back to where it was. So our foot brake will work. So then you check your foot brake according to what you need. But there it is, that's kind of a, in a nutshell, how to change out the cable. Well, hey, if you like these videos, I got more coming. Hopefully, it helps somebody. And, uh, you know, subscribe, push the bell on the button to get updates as soon as I upload uh, some videos. And like I always say, as long as you're up and walking, it's a good day. Take care. Hey, welcome back there for a second. Hey, uh, this video come out is going to show you how to put this, uh, this here, how to put a new brake cable on your Brute Force 750. That works for other ones too. But uh, I want to show that you know, this will, should be the last video on it, but uh, but I'm going to put it first. You got to make sure you get through this little keeper here. See that there before you do all that. So when you look at my video, you'll see what I'm doing, and this is just to revise it here. That you got to put it through that so this all works good there. So I just want to show you that, and I'll be merging these together. And, how, and enjoy the video how to put that brake cable on a Brute Force 750.